Yo, what's up guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the X-Ray Zone. If this is your first time here, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You came to the right spot. If you're trying to get into the medical field, whether it's nursing, uh, physical therapy, uh, dental assistant, whatever the case may be in the medical field, I drop videos on everything. Um, so welcome to, the, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. Um, on this video, I'm going to talk to you what to expect uh, in a radiology tech program in 2025. But before I get there, I just wanted you guys to know that I'm committed to you guys. Um, I want to drop a video daily, or even if it's a video or a short, I'm going to drop a video daily on here. Um, I'm committed to helping you guys make a good decision for yourselves, not just for you right now, but for you in the future, because you never know, you know, maybe this career will be for you short term, and then you're like, you know what, this is not what I wanted, this is not what I expected. Um, but, you know, I'm in here now, so let me just change something else or whatever, you know. But in the meantime, I'm going to drop videos for you guys. So go ahead and, you know, subscribe, show your boys some love, some support. Let's grow the channel. Let's get this information out to a lot more people because I still get a lot of comments on people like, should I go online? Should I go to private school? Should I go to this? And it's okay. It's not nobody's fault. That's why I'm here to help you. And I need those questions because it allows me to give you information that you guys need. All right. So here we go, man. What to expect and uh, radiology to tech program in 2025 so the first one is this yes competitiveness before it was already semi-competitive because you know uh people want to get into it and they drop out because they don't know what you know they got themselves into but it's so competitive now because of the fact like i mentioned earlier like i do some traveling now right i don't know if i mentioned that or not but i do traveling now and the travel salary the, the amount of money you make during traveling is is nice you make good money so people are realizing that they're like, oh, travel techs make this or, you know, whatever case may be, whether you're a travel tech or a travel nurse or whatever. But as you, and now they understand the kind of money you can make, you know, as a, as a radiology tech. So now they, they're trying to get into it. So whether it's a private school, whether it's a public school, state college, however you want to call it, they're being more competitive in now because there's so many more people that are trying to get into the field, you know, so be prepared for that, you know, be prepared to for the competitiveness. Now, to get the edge on the competitiveness, I can tell you this. First, get your prereqs out the way. You know, get all your prereqs that they need. Bas basically, get your AS, you know, uh, Associates in Science. Get all those classes out the way. Then, shadow. Shadow what you want to do, whether it's x-ray, nursing, physical therapy, whatever. But for x-ray, shadow x-ray. Go to your local hospital, shadow. Get those hours in. That way, when you apply for the program, they're like, hey, man, this person's already got all their, all their school, all their, you know, classes they need. They went in a shadow, so they got hospital experience, hospital hours, and, um, you know, he might be a good candidate or she, you know, um, so that's something to think about. And um, while you're waiting to enroll, you can also get a job at the hospital. You know, there's um, a few um, jobs that, you know, benefit future x-ray techs. So basically, one will be a transporter. You can be an x-ray transporter for just the x-ray department or just a, a transporter in a hospital overall. You get to see a lot. You get to see a lot of departments. So, you know, maybe you want to go for x-ray. You're like, you know what? No, I think I'm going to go for nursing. So it opens your brain and it opens your mind out to a lot. You know, opens it opens it up. Um, also, you can become a, um, a, just a registration person at the hospital. You know, just any kind of hospital hours, any kind of hospital experience experience and exposure, excuse me, um, will get you to that. You know, we'll put, you can put that on an application and that can give you a little edge on the competitiveness of, of getting into the program. You know, so look out for that, okay? So the second thing is this. Yes, towards the end of your program, when I went to school, I didn't have this, um, this privilege, but now they need they need techs in different modalities. So what they do the last semester is that now they're like, you know what, pick CT. We're gonna send you to CT for a month, or a month or two. I want you to get used to that, see how they're doing, because they need a lot of help. There's a lot of CT jobs available. So they, they want you to cross train to CT. Then uh, you know what, the next two months, I'm gonna send you to MRI. You're gonna see how MRI works because also we need MRI techs. You know, so that's the cool thing about the program now is that now they're they're expanding your brain and expanding your education and knowledge to different modalities that they didn't do they didn't do that to us back in the day. You know, we were just lucky enough to get into the program, lucky enough to get a clinical site. You know, now clinical sites are everywhere and they're even willing to put you into different modalities. So when you graduate, 
and you like, you know, whichever one you like, they were like, you know what, we're gonna cross train you. When you're done and you start working and you're working with us, you like CT, we're gonna start cross train you in CT. Um, and trust me, man, they'd rather cross train someone that they hire and CT than sometimes hire somebody from with the outside because they're kind of grooming you as they want you, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of CT techs come in from the outside looking in and they do things differently and they do this and they do that. And you know, you mess up the culture, right? So a lot of people, a lot of organizations don't like that. So they rather hire a tech out of school, train them and mold them the way that they want them to be. And then, you know, they're like, okay, we got the tech we want. We, we molded her, you know, them to how we want them to be a CT tech, how we want them to be an MRI tech. So we're training them. You're getting trained. Well, first you got a job. So you got hours, you're getting trained. You getting more education basically for free, so it's a no brainer, you know. So that's what you can expect in the department for the program in 2025. The third one is um, during clinical hours. See, back in the day, the, this this one, this one, sorry, during clinical hours or clinical sites. Back in the day, man, we uh, we the 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 jobs are so limited. When I went to school. 50, 15 years ago, Ugh, kind of said my age, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, 15 years ago, man, when I went to school, techs were nice, man. They were nice like that. They were like, oh yeah, come on, buddy. I'm gonna show you how to do an x-ray. They were more like, they were hard because for, in, for, for one thing, x-ray tech jobs weren't available like that when I first started. They, weren't, they didn't have a lot of jobs. So basically when you went in as a, as a student, they didn't want to teach you anything. You know, techs were like, nah, you ain't gonna take my job. You know, so that's the mentality they had back then because it wasn't that many jobs, you know? So, you know, you can't blame them, you know, in a way, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we were all students at one point and we're not trying to take your job. We're just trying to learn. And you know, you know way more than me, you know, for me to even take your job. But that's the kind of mentality they had back then. Now you'll, under, you'll see that you'll have a lot more nicer you know um technologists trying to help you trying to mold you trying to trying to really take you under their wing because you know for one they need the help you know there's so many um places out that's why travel is so big because there's so many places out there that are in need of techs you know x-ray techs ct techs mri techs ultrasound techs nuclear medicine techs everything right now is so um that it's so short staff that they're going to help you they want you to, to become a good tech because what they're hoping for is when you graduate high school, high school, yeah, high school too, <laughs> but when you graduate the program, they want you to apply for them and, 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 and work for them because they want your help. You know, um, a lot of techs won't, you know, a lot of techs won't be honest like that, but they will. But the techs won't tell you, but the managers and the, and the CT leads or the x-ray leads or the directors, man, they'll even tell you, hey man, we need help, you know? Um, so for instance, a short story, um, uh, I know this lady that's getting a, a travel assignment, right? A travel assignment and she was working overnight. So they're paying her travel pay, 2,200 a week. And the director's like, we need help so bad that we'll let you keep that travel assignment and make that kind of money for at least a year. And then, you know, you can jump into it full time. So that's how bad they need techs. You know, they, they're willing to give you 2,500 to 2,000 a week which is tons of money when you, you know, when you consider full-time, because full-time you don't get paid that much, but they'll let in this person do that. And then, you know, within a year they can be like, okay, now I have to be full-time, but they're allowing the person to make all this money for a year and then allow you to, to you know, slowly get into full-time. Like, that's awesome. You know, a lot of people wouldn't do that, but that's the kind of like, you know, short staff that they are at the moment. You know, you need overnight text. Overnight text is, the overnight shift is probably the hardest shift to cover. So, you know, they're gonna want you, they're gonna be nice, but like, hey, come on, you know, you know, so you can work overnight. And, you know, overnight's not bad, to be honest. Um, but, again, it's 2025, guys. And if you didn't do anything last year, you know, 2024, you were too scared to take that leap or scared to, to take the chance. Look, man, I got you guys. Trust me, I'm gonna drop a video daily. And I want you to succeed, man. I want you to succeed. I want you to pick a good career for you. I want you to do something for you. I want you to be proud of yourself, you know, for taking that step, for doing something that's scary, for doing something that's out of your element. Just do it, you know, because at the end of the day, what you're going to see is 365 days pass by, and then you're going to hit 2026, and you'll be like, man, I had a whole year to at least take three classes, take two classes, at least try and apply for the program. If I didn't get in, I didn't get in. But at least I took that shot. I took that chance on myself. You know, so, hey guys, this is your year, man. This is our year. And uh, we're gonna grow. We're gonna grow and we're gonna, you know, 
grow everywhere, you know, just within yourself. And uh, you're gonna make yourself happy, man. You're gonna make yourself proud. So as always, guys, thank you for watching my channel. If you stay to the end, I really appreciate you. Hey, man, I got y'all, man. Let's go.